Hi there, it's Claire from the Inspired Treehouse, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick interactive visual schedule using Google Slides. So the first thing you'll do is open a blank slideshow and you'll go ahead and name it whatever you want. I called mine visual schedule. And you're going to want to make sure that ahead of time you have all of the images that you're going to use. Um, for your schedule, whether you find them online or you use clip art or um, you use photographs of the actual objects or spaces that re represent the different transitions that the child will make throughout the day. Um, you'll want to make sure that you have all of those saved in a folder on your computer ahead of time. So you're going to go ahead and click on insert image, which is right here. Upload from computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and select all of the images that I'm going to be using. Um, so I have, for my example, I have eight different images that I'm going to import here. So you'll see them kind of scatter all over the screen. And I also included in my um, images this check mark. That's going to be my little all done check mark. You can make that look however you want. It could be a star, it could be an arrow, um, but you're going to want an image that represents all done because you're going to put that in each one of your slides. So now I'm just going to go ahead and shrink these images down so I can actually see all of them on the page. And you want them pretty small just depending on I guess how many images you're going to include in your schedule. It could be very basic and you may only have a few things so you might have a little more space to work with but I'm shrinking these down so that they're each their own little box. I know this kind of looks confusing what I'm doing on the screen, but basically I'm just shrinking each image down so you can see every single one. Okay, so I have all of my smaller images now, and this is gonna be the first page I'm gonna create is our main menu page. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of line these up on the edges of the screen Like so. So I'm creating this main menu. This is where we'll go back to every time we um, complete an activity. So I'm gonna put this one up here. And you want to make sure each image has just a little bit of space in between so you can see what's what. Okay, and so for the main menu page, you're gonna make your all done check mark or whatever symbol you choose. Um, you're gonna make that big. So you can use words on here too. It might say all done, um, but you're gonna make this the center of your page, okay? So now I'm gonna click to add a new slide, this little plus button here, and I'm gonna move it up um, so it's at the top of my slideshow. Same thing again, I want a blank page, so I'm gonna select this little template and delete it. And now I'm going to start making the individual larger slides um, that will show the different activities that you're directing the kids to. So I click back to my main menu slide. I'm going to click this outside picture. And I like to use my um, keyboard shortcuts, but you can do edit, copy. I do this. I do a command C and that will copy my picture for me. So I'm copying my picture. I'm going to that blank slide I created. And now I'm going to paste my picture in. So here it is. But this time I want to make it big. So this is going to be like the main slide for when we go outside. I'm also going to go back here and grab my checkbox. I'm going to do the same thing. Copy and paste. Again, I use my, I'm using my keyboard shortcuts, but you can use um, up here the cut and, cut and paste images up there. Cut and paste links, I mean. So you're going to put your little check mark in the corner. So I'm going to repeat this process for each picture that's included in my visual schedule. So here I go. I'm going to create a new slide. I'm going to go to my main menu page. I'm going to select a different image now, copy it, go to the blank slide, and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to make it large so it takes up most of the space here. Oop, a little too large, center it on my page, and then I'm going to click back to my check mark to bring that over, and same thing. I'm going to insert that on this page and put it down in the corner. 
So it might also, um, from here, it might also be helpful to just go ahead and copy the slide so you can click on the slide, click Command, Control, click on the slide, and then you can duplicate the slide. And so that just makes it a little bit easier because your check marks are already going to be there. So we have two snack slides. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to keep going. Okay, so now I just kind of fast forwarded there and I have each of my slides with my large picture and my checkbox on each one. So that's two separate images, one image here and one image here on each slide. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to make my main menu clickable. So I want these pictures to take me to the different slides. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on outside. I'm gonna click insert and link. And you'll notice there's a keyboard shortcut here so you can hit Command K um, to insert a link. And now, instead of linking somewhere outside of our presentation, we're linking within the presentation. So we're gonna click on slides in this presentation and I can see over here for outside, I'm gonna want this to go back to slide number one. So I'm clicking on slide one and I click apply. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each one. Snack, insert, link, slides in this presentation, and this time I'm going to slide two. So I wanna link it to slide two, apply. Same thing for every single one of these. So I'm gonna use my keyboard shortcuts, lunch is slide three, clean up is slide four. Then I have my art project, slide five. My learning activity, that's slide six. And then my movement game, that's slide seven. If I can get to it. Okay, apply. So now this whole slide is all clickable so that when I pull it up, and I really recommend, I love having mine on my phone. Um, it's just so easy to have in your hand at all times or in your pocket, but you could definitely do it on a larger screen if you wanted to. But so you'll just pull this slideshow up and say, you know, say we're gonna start with our art project for the day. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this up into presentation mode here. So you're gonna click present. And now um, when we're, oh, I forgot an important slide. Okay, now after I've linked up all the pictures on my main menu page, I also have to link these little check marks because we want to make sure each check mark takes us to that menu page. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to insert a link, and this time we want it to go to slide number eight. I'm going to move it up a little so I can see. So this is going to the slide that has our main menu, all of our activities on it. And I'm going to do that all the way through my slide presentation. So each one of these is going to slide eight, whoops. Okay, so now I have made sure that each one of my check marks on um, each one of my individual slides is gonna link to slide number eight, so that's where my main menu is, that main, um, kind of hub slide for my schedule. So then when you wanna use it, you're gonna go ahead and click on whatever you wanna start with. So say we're gonna do an art project first, and then I'm gonna go into present mode. And I really like using this on my phone because it's so easy to pull up and click through the different pictures. Um, and then I always have my phone in my pocket or near me. So it's just kind of like a quick way to grab it and um, make that transition. So we're finishing up our art project and you can say, okay, great, when we're done with the art project, it's gonna be your turn to check the button, the all done button, so we can see what we're gonna do next. He's gonna go ahead and when you're done, you clean up from your art project, he's clicking here, and it takes you back to that main hub. Now you're gonna quickly decide 
what you're going to do next. So you as the teacher or therapist can, or a parent can make that quick choice and click the kids there. So say you already know you want to do a movement game, you can click right to the movement game and it'll take them to that slide. Or say you want to give a choice. Hey, um, great, do you want to go outside next or do you want to have a snack first? And then he can make that choice and he can click on the pictures and take him, um, take the group to that next slide and same thing all the way through. So when they're done, they click the all done button and they make it back to this main hub page. So hopefully that is helpful. Um, as just a quick review, you're gonna go ahead and upload all of the pictures from your computer into your slideshow and you're gonna put an individual large image on each slide. You're gonna put your check mark button on each slide and then you're gonna create that hub main menu page with the big check button in the middle and then all of your images on the sides. Then you're gonna click onto each image and link the image to the individual slide in the slideshow where you want them to go. And then you're gonna make sure on the individual slides that you link each one of your check marks to the hub slide, to the main menu page. Hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at theinspiredtreehouse at gmail.com. Thanks.